is fair play. What? No, it's just about him. I don't, I don't, so, I'm good. So, let's see what happened when the tables were turned. I'm scared. <laughs> I love my wife to death, but Jenna certainly knows how to nag. Which stresses me out. Chris, what is this? Chris. Yeah. She's very, very type A. For instance, if we're gonna go to bed, it's very important to Jenna that the dishes are clean, and it all has to get done right then, right there. Another pet peeve of mine is that Jenna likes to let the dogs sleep in the bed with us. I don't want to cuddle with the dogs, I want to cuddle with my wife. <laughs> and after the dogs spend the night in the bed with us, I have to get up in the morning and I have to grab a lint roller that we have next to our bed and I have to wipe all the dogs' hair off the bed before we make it. She's always on my case about the smallest things. Chris! Yeah. Did you leave a half-eaten apple on the breakfast bar? I'm gonna finish it later. That's disgusting, first of all, and is this a joke? No. And God forbid I don't follow her agenda. Get breakfast done at a certain time. She likes to make sure the trash is taken out at a certain time. She likes to make sure the dogs are out at a certain time. And I have to jump on board the schedule, and if I don't, there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> Just seeing that look, Jenna, stresses me out. <laughs> Thank you. So there's a legitimate science to this nagging business, and this goes for all the men and women out there watching. If you nag your spouse, what can very easily happen mm -hmm. is an overstressed response. So if you're constantly nagging your spouse, over time your cerebral cortex sends a message to your hypothalamus. What that says is, oh no, this is a scary situation. It signals your pituitary gland, which then signals your adrenal glands. Those sit right above your kidneys. Mm -hmm. What do they release? It's something called cortisol. That's no big deal, right? Well, it actually is because high cortisol levels can lead to high blood pressure. And as you can see here, it also diminishes your white blood cells' ability to fight infections. Cortisol also can elevate blood sugar, which releases insulin and that tells you to store fat. What does that do? It can lead to weight gain. And so Chris, you're obviously at a good weight now, but over time, elevated cortisol, elevated belly. <laughs> and then, Jenny, maybe you'll nag him more because gosh darn it, now you look like that half-eaten apple. And, <laughs> and if I may, Jenna, just to play devil's advocate here. Do it. You insist that your husband takes off his shoes, but it's fine for the dog that yeah. brings him whatever to sleep in bed? That doesn't That's a quite little, go. For right. sure, but Dr. O to the rescue. Hey. I don't, I still, I'm not sure if you should, you should leave the dog in the bed or not, but I do have a solution. It's called the UV sanitizing wand. What it does, UV light is produced by this product, pretty cool. It actually eliminates 99% of allergens, bacteria, viruses, dust mites, and flea eggs. It penetrates into microorganisms, disrupts their DNA, and uh, takes care of them. Oh. Okay.